for obvious reasons because of the heat we're going to be brief but we did want to mark this occasion by being properly appreciative of Senator Mitchell's leadership so it's my honor and pleasure on behalf of the Board of Directors of the Alabama Construction Recruitment Institute to present the following rec uh, proclamation and resolution some of our board members could not be here because they're involved in a construction users roundtable national meeting in Kentucky. Uh, we do have Leroy Nicholson, who is a member of our board here with us, and, and certainly I'm acting on his behalf and that of the other members of our board uh, as I present this resolution to Senator Mitchell. Now, the Alabama Construction Recruitment Institute is a newly uh, constituted organization whose mission is to recruit a new generation of skilled craftsmen for the commercial and industrial construction industry. And it is sponsored by fees paid by the construction industry. There are no taxpayers' uh, monies involved uh, whatsoever. And we launched this program uh, during uh, Labor Day weekend just a few days ago. And the heart of our program is a very sophisticated website that tells all about careers and where you can get training for those careers and what those careers pay and what the benefits are. And we've already had 10,000 hits and over 7,000 registrations. And uh, what I tell people is we're not trying to recruit for next month, we're recruiting for the next generation. So given that, I'd like to present this resolution. Whereas Walking Wendell Mitchell has served the people of Alabama Senate District 30 since 1974, and whereas during his tenure, Senator Mitchell has established himself as a respected leader in the Alabama legislature, and whereas Senator Mitchell has become known for his willingness to work across party lines to achieve worthwhile goals, as he did in this uh, initiative, and whereas Senator Mitchell applied his considerable legislative and leadership skills to the sponsorship and unanimous passage of Legislative Act 2010-220, establishing the Alabama Construction Recruitment Institute, and whereas the Institute's mission is to recruit a new generation of skilled craftsmen for the commercial and industrial construction industry in Alabama, and whereas the initiative promises to bring economic development for the state and good jobs for its citizens, and whereas the initiative is emerging as a model for the entire nation, now therefore be it resolved that the Board of Directors of the Alabama Construction Recruitment Institute does hereby honor, thank, and commend Senator Mitchell and his fellow legislators for their vital role in the creation of the Institute. Sworn to and attested on this day, September 14, 2010, Jeff Masters, President, and Tim Offord, Executive Director. Senator Mitchell. Well, thank you, Mayor Alford. I am excited about being a part of something positive in Alabama. Too often I pick up the newspaper or see the television media and it's uh, talking about us being 48, 49, and so forth in a certain area of testing. The wonderful program on Discovery Channel, it's uh, called Dirty Jobs, people are looking at it all over the country, have said that this is an innovative program and that Alabama has stepped out first and others across this nation are now looking at what we are doing. Mayor Alford alluded to the many uh, hits on the website plus the applicants who are interested in these jobs and as I look around the state today, yea, the nation, jobs seems to be the number one public issue. This program is going to make a great, have a great impact upon job opportunities and especially in a field where it is so needed. When we get through with this recession we're in, and I think we're on the way to doing that even as I speak, I feel like the demand will even grow. And yet, in today's environment, for every trade worker that moves into the profession, two or three move out. So you understand clearly it will not take long before we have a deficit 
in terms of workforce. Uh, Mr. Alford and others after him at the Workforce Development Office in Alabama have laid the groundwork for the years to come and are responsible for what you know, the reason that we're here today. I also want to commend the Alabama Senate. We did work across uh, party lines and very effectively to get this legislation passed. In my opinion, that's the way we should do all things. I also want to commend uh, labor leadership and representatives and construction representatives and business representatives for their efforts to work so closely together. It shows me that when we have something important like this to all the people, that teamwork will certainly produce a very favorable bottom line. You honor me tremendously with this resolution, and I am grateful for the small part I had in making this happen, and I look forward to hearing further good things as we move forward with this program. Thank you. Concludes our program. Are there any questions by anyone? Well, thank you very much for being here. Thank you, Senator. Thank you, Mayor. Y'all take care.